And we continue to follow the delays from our nation's airports after Southwest Airlines temporarily grounded all of its flights. And right now we have learned there are at least 1,762 flights that are delayed across the nation. Let's get right out now live to Mike to sell. Mike, you're there at the airport. Talk about the scene and what you're seeing there now. Yeah, well, right behind me is the check in for uh, Southwest Airlines flights and this morning, you know, it's a midweek. It's pretty normal here. No uh, real huge lines or any type of uh, chaotic scene. However, if you look at the flight board now that speaks a lot more visually all those yellow and orange numbers on the right side versus the green those are the delays versus the on time flights and here at the airport uh, it's probably right around 50 50 uh, if you have a southwest flight that is departing uh, you might want to check ahead because you could be looking at delays of up to an hour to an hour and a half at this point in time. I also want to compare that just to the right. All other airlines right now leaving SAC International, the total numbers of delays, just one. That's for uh, at least two dozen for Southwest, one for all other airlines. So what's going on here? Well, let me show you. Uh, we got a statement from the FAA uh, this morning that explained this ground order. Uh, they said this morning Southwest Air experienced a technical issue with one of their internal systems at the airline's request. The FAA paused Southwest departures as they resolved the issue. The pause has been lifted and their service has returned. Southwest also issued a statement from their public relations team explaining, quote, early this morning, a vendor supplied firewall went down and connection to some operational data was unexpectedly lost. Southwest teams worked quickly to minimize flight disruptions. We appreciate the patience of our customers and employees during this morning's brief disruption. But coming back out here live, if you look at the uh, departure board here at the Southwest check-in. You'll see uh, that you'll need plenty of patience for a lot of these flights if you're headed out as there are delays for uh, at least a couple dozen uh, going through the noon hour this morning. And again, those delays ranging from you know, 15 minutes to up to 90 minutes trying to get out. Uh, delays coming in obviously are similar because, of course, this is all the same network and they're trying to get uh, flights back moving into the, you know, normal rotation, but it's going to mean delays for, again, a fair number of flights if you're on Southwest check ahead, but as far as getting out and getting checked in at the airport, uh, it does not appear like this is anything like uh, the Christmas time chaos where we saw long lines of people just trying to check in and also find places to sleep because flights were being canceled left and right. As far as we can see here uh, on the flight board this morning, as far as the flights leaving here in the next couple of hours, no cancellations as yet, just some uh, delays that, as Southwest asks, might require your patience. Live at Sac International Airport, Mike Sell, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, Mike, there is that glimmer of a silver lining in all this, that it's not as many people there. Thanks so much for that live report. And folks, we do want to show you another look at the departures board. You can see the range of delays there, a couple extremely late. Every Southwest flight from now until noon is having a delay. And of course, we'll keep you updated on any delays at Sacramento International Airport because of that pause. For the very latest, download the KCR3 app and turn on those push alerts.